yeah, definitely with the the mud prep, we would um, you know we'd come in and run some uh, some foam you know down here around the rear brake lever, um, even put some stuff around the the peg mounts um, to keep the mud from clogging up in it. Um, we do a lot of stuff different to the to the air box. Um, we have a mud prep setup that we do um, definitely to cover up the holes here. We run a, a few different things, foam, some people run um, different setups uh, um, in there. Um, definitely run some different uh, setups on, on um, the rear fender to, um, if it rains, it'll, it'll take um, water and steer it clear of the, of the air box uh, from it getting in there and, and onto the, um, the air filter and sucking any kind of water in. Um, and then some, you know, th there's different things on brake rotors. Some people run solid brake rotors, um, but majority of mud prep is just um, trying to keep the places where it's going to pack up the most, not and and uh, saving the um, saving your air box from getting a ton of water and stuff in there to suck into the motor. Either option. I mean, we do have you know power washers set up, you know, on these on the rig. So if it's that bad, yeah, definitely just is hurry up, and, you know, power wash as much as you can get off of it, scrape it off, and then get it set up for you know second practice or a heat race. Uh, or